Oh man, this is going to be a good one today. So although it's only been like two years since we've really focused on YouTube and put a lot of effort into it, we have been making videos on the channel off and on from the very beginning. So all the way back to 2013. And I thought it'd be fun to go back and kind of take a look at the very first video we ever made uh, and to view it from today's lens. Interestingly, uh, the first video on the channel was not what you would consider like a typical YouTube video compared to what we're doing now and uh, how we do videos now. It was actually a part of a project uh, that a friend of mine was doing. Uh, he's a video guy and in 2013, he challenged himself to make one video every month. He knew about He Spoke Style. Uh, he thought there was a story to tell there. So he asked me if I'd be open to doing kind of like a little short film with him. We shot this in one day multiple locations. It was a very long day. Uh, it was very fun to do. Uh, and the idea of it was just to basically tell the story of what He Spoke Style was and why I decided to start it. So it's been a very long time since I've watched this video. And what I'm interested in is to hear what I had to say back then and then uh, to see how well and if at all it still tracks with what I'd say today, what my vision for He Spoke Style is today versus what I was saying then. Uh, and really just kind of wondering how embarrassing this is going to feel. Uh, hopefully not too embarrassing, but we shall see. So I've got the video queued up here and I think we should just dive right into it now. So without further ado, let's take a look at He Spoke Style, the video. Yeah. <laughs> style, good style is timeless. Style is, is transcendent. So one thing I want to point out actually before we uh, go any further is that the soundtrack to this was actually done by another really talented friend of mine. So uh, total collaboration from the video to the music here. My name is Brian Sakawa and I'm founder and creative director of He Spoke Style. One of the things that really speaks to me about doing the website is, is that I'm a professional musician and music is all about communication. And the website... Gotta stop here. <laughs> so uh, the suit I'm wearing is a Brooks Brothers suit. I don't have that suit anymore. The shirt is by Banana Republic. Don't have that anymore. Um, there's my watch, the uh, Timex for J. Crew, circa 2010 that I wore all the time. Um, and then I have to point out uh, what, <laughs> one of my big mistakes here, which is wearing this, uh, these cufflinks, they're by Paul Smith and they've got like a, a skull on them. I thought it was cool, but, uh, looking at it now, it's like trying just like a little too hard with that. <laughs> to me is a form of communication and, and style in fact is a form of communication. Deciding what you're going Still to got wear that bag too. or what you're not going to wear says something about you and whether you are into fashion or style or not, or don't claim to be, what you wear or what you choose not to wear says a lot about you. It says how you want to be perceived by people and what group you belong to or want to belong to. That sounds so familiar. It's like I, it's like I could say that today. So feeling pretty good about this. This scene here uh, we shot in like a local wine shop and uh, just so you know, like this is was not how Rob and I would typically work, but uh, it worked for the video. So, oh, man. <laughs> Rob doesn't even drink. <laughs> you know, everyone has their their style. He put this photo up here because he knew it was one that I really hated. <laughs> Influences and style icons, and and a lot of people point to Cary Grant as a big influence, and I, I'm definitely no different. What I love about Cary Grant style is. He never looked bad in a suit, and it was because his suits fit so well. The other part of that, too, he was a nice guy. He was humble, in addition to being very, very stylish, and that's really important to me. I think we really had a good groove for this one. <laughs> yeah, good, did you? Huh? Good location, good light. No doubt, no doubt. Oh my god, I think I included this look in one of my like least favorite looks ever. <laughs> I like this one where you look like, like a drunk. <laughs> I do look like a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Having style is all about having confidence. If you wear something with confidence, it will look good. If you're uncomfortable wearing something, it won't look good. Confidence goes hand in hand with style. <laughs> I wasn't really waving to anyone there. <laughs> mm. If you're inspired by something you see on the website, that's great. And I feel great about that because that's what the website's all about. Is Everything looks better in slow motion. <laughs> 
inspiring people. Um, if people don't find any inspiration on it, then that, that's fine too. He Spoke Style is just one voice in the conversation. I started He Spoke Style after wearing the same outfit for an entire year. Oh man, those Alan Edmonds strands look really nice back then. <laughs> It was a bit of an extreme experiment, but it taught me a lot about versatility. So after the year of wearing one thing, I thought, well, what are the essential things that a guy needs to have in his wardrobe? And that project turned into He Spoke Style. Mm. The thing I really love about style is that it's extremely personal. There's no one style that's correct or right. The style is really uh, something that a person makes their own. And I'm just remembering, like, looking at this right now. We shot this in, like, I don't know, like, Jared did a... He, he got this pizza shop as this place that we we're shooting this interview. And um, uh, it was very hot that day. And I can see that I'm, like, really sweaty. And you can also hear a lot of the background noise. But, hey, you, you work with what you got, right? And, sure, we all have our influences, who, who we, we draw inspiration from. But at the end of the day, you know, your style is what you make of it. Yes! <laughs>